Hello everyone, it is August 29th, 2022, and I'd like to, in this video, give you a look at my brand new desk setup. So this is the office at my new house, and I'll show you the rest of the room in a little bit, but you know, I've got a shelf of things up here, I've got my main PC setup, I've got this dog, <laughs> just this dog, um, this keyboard, which I'm probably going to sell, but yeah, an entire room with this desk that I used to have in my parents' house many years ago, and now that I have the room to actually set it up, well, I've done so, and I've put up the three PCs that, or the three computers, I should say, from my previous collection that are really the only ones that I still have other than like the 512K and a couple of laptops, and uh, I've set them up so that they're always plugged in, they're always ready to go, and I can use them whenever I want without having to dig them out and plug them in and set them up, which is something I have wanted for a very long time. And at my last house, for various reasons, that was not possible. So I've got it now, and I'm very happy with how things are. There could be a little more room, you know, I guess, especially with the iMac, I would like to move that over a little bit more, but then there's that support bar and yeah, it doesn't work. So this is how it's going to be for the foreseeable future as good as it is, and I'm, I'm very happy with it. So anyway, let's talk about the computers that are up here, and I'm sure that if you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you'll probably have seen most of these. This one, well, this one's a, a more recent acquisition. This is a 700 megahertz iMac G3. And I'll actually confirm that for those who don't believe it, because these are exceedingly rare nowadays. There it is, focus. 700 megahertz Power Mac G3, uh, Power PC G3. Got a gig of RAM in it. It's got an 80 gigabyte hard drive. This is the one computer, well, I guess I haven't done it to the XP machine either, but this is one computer that I don't think really should have a SSD in it. Yes, it would be a little bit faster. Yes, it would be more reliable, but there is something to be said about the noise that it makes. And I've got a very quiet hard drive in here, one that is just about as quiet as it, quiet as it would have been brand new. So when you're opening things or copying files or moving things around, there's a little bit of sound from that hard drive. And even when it's sitting there idling, there's a little bit of sound. And that sound alone is just so nostalgic to me. Walking into a computer lab full of these after they've been running for seven years or something, they all have a little bit of noise to them, a little bit of a hum. And, you know, that kind of brings me back to that time. And just in general, having a hard drive in this thing just makes it sound correct to me. Anyway, that's a lot of talk about a hard drive and why I have it in here. I don't need to justify it. I like it. Anyway, um, next to the iMac, I've got a pile of accessories here. So I've got the, there's a FireWire um, CD-ROM drive. I've got the USB version of this, which looks identical, except, of course, it's USB connected. But because I don't really use the FireWire ports for anything, I decided to go out and look for some FireWire accessories. And, you know, I don't do any video editing with this. That's, that's no longer something that's really viable for this machine. So I got this for a FireWire accessory, and I've also got this external hard drive. I don't remember who makes it. I think... Maybe it's the same brand, maybe it's another Q accessory, but it's 20 gig FireWire hard drive, and I have it set up to do backups of this thing. That's about the only thing I can think that's actually useful nowadays to do with it. So yeah, I picked it up, and both of those, by the way, match the um, kind of graphite color of the iMac pretty closely. I think that was intentional. I've also got a USB floppy drive down there that again matches the color. Um, I got this USB 1.1 hub that again, this, I've seen these everywhere. I think you either have this one or this one, which I have my Windows XP machine, the USB 2 hub, this is a 1.1. I saw those on just about everybody's desks in offices, in um, my personal computers. I saw them everywhere. They were very, very common and Again, matches the color, so there it is. And then lastly, I've got a Zip100 drive, which 
it doesn't really match the color, it's blue, but it is of the right time period, and I figured why not load this thing up with accessories, just because why not, yeah. Obviously the Apple Pro keyboard and mouse that are so very popular and common, and these are in very good shape, so I'm happy to have those. So yeah, this thing, I wouldn't say it's maxed out, but it does have, um, you know, it's got an 80 gig hard drive, which for an iMac G3 running Mac OS 9, more than enough. I've got so much crap on here and it's not even half full. And yeah, it's 700 megahertz, maxed out on RAM. It's got, what else does it have? It's got a DVD drive and wireless. I think those are the only upgrades you can really do to these things, but love the iMac G3, always will. It'll be, there's only two computers I would ever want to keep forever, you know, that I would say I'm, I'm definitely never getting rid of these. And that would be the Windows XP machine, the computer itself, you know, I would love to keep the CRT. If I had to let it go, I would do it. I would definitely keep that. And I would definitely keep the iMac G3. That is, that is not a question. I don't care if I have to carry them around to somewhere else that I end up living and store them in a closet. I want to keep them and always have them. Anyway, that sounded really nerdy. And on to another nerdy thing, the Windows XP machine, which if you've been on my channel for any amount of time, especially from the very beginning, you'll know this computer. Um, so I call it my childhood PC because it's the one that I grew up using, the first computer that I really ever used, and I still have it. So the only thing I've actually done to it recently as in like the past month is replace the power supply. So I knew it was having issues for a while. It was starting to squeal a little bit. The power supply fan was starting to go for a while and then I fixed that. Um, sometimes the computer wouldn't fully turn on, which was a little weird. And it eventually got to the point where um, about a month ago when I started powering it on a little more often, because I have it set up here, the squealing was getting very, very bad. Uh, I couldn't sit here and do anything without it just taking over my my thoughts. <laughs> it was such a bad noise. So it was time to get rid of it. I mean, I, again, knew it was having issues for a while and it's 22 years old at this point. No, older than that. This thing is from 98, so it's 24 years old. It's about time. I don't feel bad about replacing it. Unfortunately, I didn't have any period correct power supplies, but I had a 430 watt power supply from, well, I've had it for a long time, maybe five to 10 years, and it's in good shape. It's, you know, obviously a modern one. So I threw that in there. It works. You know, it's something that has black cables and it's a black power supply enclosure, so it doesn't quite match the aesthetic, but it's inside the machine and I don't know, it doesn't really matter. As long as it gets good power and doesn't blow up, I'm happy. This monitor, this is a recent acquisition. This is a Dell Ultrascan P780, I think is the model, 17 inch Trentron monitor. Um, I love this monitor in particular uh, and the other models that look exactly like this. You know, they got that square power button, the buttons along the bottom, they say Trintron up at the top. There's only a couple models that look like that, but my God, I love this monitor. And I had another one I got for 20 bucks from somebody maybe six to seven years ago when I first moved into the last house I was living in. And, you know, it was 20 bucks, so it wasn't a huge loss, but it needed some adjustments to get going in the first place. And even after I adjusted it, there were some convergence issues, there was a bunch of other issues, and eventually it started arcing inside. I think the flyback was going bad. So I couldn't fix it, I gave it away to somebody, and I wish I hadn't because I could probably fix it now, but I am kind of glad that I did because it made me go out and look for this one. Somebody locally was selling it for $50, and the exterior, absolutely immaculate. The picture, 95% there. I mean, it's a 20 something year old monitor. It's gonna be a little worn out. And, um, you know, the geometry is a tiny bit off. Fortunately, it's not like 
the, I don't know what you call it, the pin cushion kind of issue that a lot of these have. Um, if that geometry is right, but like this corner is a little bit tilted in, whereas that one is not. I got it the best I can, I'm happy with it. But yeah, super happy to have this again. I would not have purchased another CRT had it not been this exact one. So again, really glad I found it. Also up here, I've got a set of Cambridge Soundworks speakers. I don't remember who makes these actually. I think Cambridge Soundworks is just a name that they put on them. Probably, um, what am I thinking of? Not Bose, I don't know. The other company that makes, you know, kind of generic but decent speakers. Boston, maybe? Nah, I don't know, doesn't matter. But I got a set of those. They sound pretty good for what they are. This, again, I showed you before, this USB 2 hub from D-Link that I saw just about everywhere in the early to mid 2000s. And I've got that up there, nothing plugged into it, but it is there. Keyboard and mouse that I've had around for a very long time. This used to be my dad's keyboard that he got from work, probably 1999 or something, used it for many years. I cleaned it up and it's still probably one of my, my favorite PS2 keyboards, except for like a mechanical keyboard. But this one, you know, it has just enough of a noise even though it's considered a, or branded as a quiet key, it's not that quiet. It has just enough sound to it for a rubber dome keyboard that absolutely love it. And lastly, for the, the old PCs, I got the iMac G4. It's a 20 inch one. And this one is just about as maxed out as you can get. It's got two gigs of RAM, Wi-Fi, um, it is, of course, the 20 inch, so that means it's the 1.25 gigahertz, which is the fastest iMac G4 that Apple made, at least. It's got a 512 gig SSD. Yeah, you could put a bigger one in it, but would there really be a benefit? So I kind of consider that maxed out in, in quotes. You know, it has an SSD in the first place, 512, just about as big as you would want. So, yeah, this thing is just about maxed out. It's an Great condition, almost immaculate, just a couple little, you know, like there's a scratch right there, which I can't quite get out, but the rest of it, so good. The screen is only about half brightness right now, and it's very, very bright. I love this thing. Um, I got some accessories for it. The eyesight that I've had around for a very long time, finally stuck that to the back of the iMac so I could have it displayed. Had the brand new Apple keyboard, which was new until I got it. Got the mouse and the non-official or the unofficial Apple mouse pad. Um, set of speakers and also the ice up underneath. And yeah, this thing, I just love it. I don't use it for a whole lot right now. I will often sit over here at the PC and, you know, play a game or browse the web. And up here I pull I iTunes up and listen to some internet radio. And the speaker system on this is great. Sometimes I'll put the visualizer on just for some, I don't know, something to look at. And yeah, I, I I love how this thing looks. I, as much as I love it, this is probably the only one that I would sell because I, I didn't really have an emotional attachment to it up until just recently. You know, unlike this, which was the second computer I ever used next to this one. You know, this one I used as a kid before I went to school. This one I used throughout all of elementary school and some of middle school. So I don't quite have that, but I don't want to get rid of it. And I don't have to, I'm not trying to imply that I have to get rid of it, but it's probably the one that I would let go if I needed to. Yeah, love that thing. So move on to the, the rest of it here. I've got the PC. So I've got a 100, 144 Hertz Dell Ultra Sharp monitor. Love this thing, it's really good keyboard which I've had around for a long time. I don't know. Not a whole lot to talk about here. It's just a PC setup. Got my mouse pad. Love the mouse pad. This thing is, um, honestly, I don't even remember. I think it's a 10th gen i7. It's got 64 gigs of RAM, maybe 32. And it tells you how much I've used this PC recently. I think it's got 32 gigs of RAM. It's got a terabyte SSD. Or is it a two terabyte? Wow, I should have prepared for this. It's a gaming PC. I know it has a 3060 GPU in it. 
Um, I built it, like, I didn't just buy this and not know what it was. I, I intentionally picked all the parts out, but it was about a year and a half ago, and I really haven't used this PC a whole lot. The one reason I wanted to build it is because I wanted a small PC, but I wanted to put full-size components in it. And I kind of ended up doing that. Um, I guess I like to have... What do I want to say here? I like a smaller case, but I want to have not like a mini ITX board in there. I want to have at least a micro ATX because that, you know, you get four RAM slots, you got more expansion slots. Mini ITX really locks you down a little too much, in my opinion. So this is about the smallest case you can get where you can put micro ATX in it, you can put um, a couple expansion cards in it, it has room for two hard drives in there, which I have. I've got a big old cooler in there, it's just an air cooler, don't need liquid cooling. And the only thing that's not like a normal thing is the power supply. I forget what the form factor is called. Yeah, I don't remember what it's called, but it's the, the smaller ATX power supply. Not really a big deal. Um, they're pretty common, it's not like a bespoke part. But yeah, that's about the only thing I had to kind of buy specially. I don't know, it's a gaming PC. The case though, the case is something I, again, picked specifically because of its size and the components could fit in it. And this one is very good quality. This is the most I've ever spent on a case, especially of this size. This was like 250 bucks. And it's very, like, it's solid. It's, it's just so solid, I don't know. You have to feel it in person in order to really understand. But the fit, like, the build quality. I've never felt a case that had been built so well. It feels really good, like the material, the paint is really nice. Just a really nice feeling case in general. And it's it's pretty plain, but also, you know, I've got RGB RAM in there, so it shines through and it looks kind of nice. Love the case. Yeah, happy with that PC. Anyway, move on to something else. Um, I don't know, UPS over there, I've got my printer there. I got my dog here. Hey, Max. Hi. And lastly for this room, uh, my shelf, which you may recognize from my parents' house a very long time ago in my room where I had this desk. Probably one of the last times you saw this desk on the channel. I had the shelf. It was just one shelf going across, but because of how this room is set up, I can't do that. So I separated it into two. And I've got a display of various things. I've got the Latitude CPT up there, my first laptop. Um, I've got the iBook G4, my first Mac, uh, my actual first Mac, like the exact one that I used to have. There's also a PowerBook G3 up there that I got recently and haven't done anything with. Got some various things to display, a whole set of Google Glass stuff, which is basically unusable now, but it's just kind of cool to have. I've got the pretty much almost maxed out. I shouldn't say maxed out. It doesn't have the upgraded CPU in it. It's just a 500 megahertz still, but it's got RAM and an SSD. That's my G4 Cube that's in really good shape. A couple other cool little things. Um, second gen iPod, various other things. All my games that I used to play and still like to play. And then lastly, the 512K Mac. And that's that's really about it for all of my computers and all my collections. As I've been getting older and kind of moving on to different parts of my life in many, many different ways, I've really cut back on accumulating things in general, but especially the old PCs. Um, we'll, we'll sit down and look at the dog while I talk about this. Yeah, uh, when I worked at the computer store, you know, many years ago, I had the opportunity to get all these different PCs, and at the time, it, I don't know, it was a different time for me. I hadn't gone through a lot of the things that I have gone through. I don't even know how to explain it. You know, I would, I would grab anything I could back then. I was 16, 17, 18, and just wanted to get all the things. I, brand new experience to me. wanted to, to do all the things. I don't know how else to put that. And the same thing went for 
much more recently when I was working at uh, an e-waste refurbisher, you know, there are a lot of things that came through there that were in really good shape that otherwise would have been scrapped. Great example, 20 inch iMac G4. They don't sell G4s because apparently they're hard to ship and there's not much of a market, but I was like, hey, if you're just gonna throw this out, you know, I'll give you a couple bucks for it. And little did they know, they probably could have sold that at the time for like $200 as is without any upgrades. So I definitely took advantage of situations where uh, it, it felt right to do so. And I don't know. Um, I'm kind of stumbling over my words here because I haven't had enough coffee, first of all, but didn't really plan this out. I guess if I had to summarize what I'm thinking of right now, for those of you who are still sticking with the video 20 minutes in, my goodness, is I'm at a different point in my life. Um, yeah, it, it's not as easy for me to get things for free like it was. And I've kind of experienced a lot of the things that I wanted to. A lot of the computers that I would have wanted in the past growing up, or, you know, maybe I could experiment to play around with things. Well, I've already done all that. And now I have a house where I have a lot of room to put all that stuff, but I don't really want to accumulate all of it again. I'm happy with what I have. And if something comes my way and it's free, absolutely I'll take it, but I'm not gonna go out and search for that kind of thing. So I guess in summary, you know, different spot in life. Um, oh, another thing is a lot of the YouTubers I used to watch that dealt with all these old PCs um, and kind of made me want to start a YouTube channel in the first place and just go and experiment with this stuff like UXW Bill, um, Max Arcade, who else? Aussie 50, who I recently found out passed away, which that's very sad. I, I realized I hadn't seen anything from him for a long time and yeah, did some Googling around. Unfortunately, I found that um, he's no longer alive. So that's kind of sad. He was one of the, again, first people who made me want to make a video. If you look at a couple of my first ones, I have uh, a Gold Star VCR autopsy. And that was another thing that he, he'd like get an old TV and be like, let's do a, an LG plasma TV autopsy. And I just thought that was so cool. So a little bit of influence from him then. But the videos that people are putting out now, they're just different. Um, they're more professionally produced. It's not like these where, you know, I take a look at some computer and, you know, do the, the handy cam, the candy ham, um, shaky video and video things. Those people who made those videos are no longer doing so. And it's sad, but you know, time goes on. So anyway, I'll stop rambling about that, but I'm, I'm happy with how things are right now. And that is something I could not have said just six months ago, seven months ago. I would have not said the same thing. And yeah, anyway, 23 minutes in, my God, I talk a lot. Um, it's time to upload this video and get it out there. And hopefully this was a nice update for some of you. And yeah, I don't know what else to say. I'll leave you with one last shot of my dog. Maybe he'll shake my hand. Max? Hey, Max, get up. Get up. Shake. 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 Max? Hey, shake. It's okay, buddy. You don't have to. Shake. Ugh. What a doofus. Anyway, thank you all for watching. God, I can't talk. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.